Hello, and welcome to Manor Lords. This is the Church Rush Build Guide. The point is to get the church, get the spikes in happiness, and the boom in population as fast as possible. This guide will cover until fall of the first year, or the first 15 to 25 minutes of gameplay. Okay, so to start off, we should always be upgrading the homeless tents into a work camp, as it gets rid of the happiness debuffs from homelessness, has a low cost, and will return the one log when we deconstruct it later. There is no downside to getting the work camp as quick as possible. Secondly, we are going to pick up a second ox and put down a tether for it. This stops us from getting a fast lane on the trader early, but I think the increase in construction speed now and the dedicated ox for the lumber camp later is worth it. Next up is the lumber camp. It's just needed. There is no progression without logs. I recommend setting two people to it the second it goes up, as we are going to need a lot of logs. And we can always unassign and move people as needed. We are going to follow that up with the building for making planks, and assign a person to it as soon as it finishes again. We are doing this because we are planning to rush church for the increased happiness, and it takes 20 planks. The follow-up is going to be either a hunting cabin or a forager's building, depending on whether one of them is rich, or if it's winter. Berries don't grow in winter, so for a winter start, go hunting. Berries provide more food overall though, so for spring and summer, berries are king. Assign one person to whichever you build. If the hunting thing is rich, then when pop hits eight instead of two builders, I'll drop one to grab the extra height. For the last of our starting resources, we are going to build a rather large plot for a residential building. The goal is to have the livable expansion and for it to be long enough to provide enough food for at least four families. I recommend about this long. We are going to get the garden expansion on it. At this point, we should be getting enough logs to place the expansion on the home. Our six families should arrive. Leave them unassigned for a minute to help with the home extensions and additional homes. I recommend making the second home like the first, big enough that the garden, family expansion, all that. The plan is to set up for 8 people overall. While we are doing this, we should cross the threshold of 20 planks. This means we can pull the guy on plank making building, start the church, and start either the foraging building or the hunting cabin, whichever we didn't build earlier. Then place a family on it. That should deal with the food problem, until we hit winter. We might need to move a guy from berries to hunting during winter, but the rest should be settled up already. Place a market, and at this point you should be considering mining stone to get the manor up. At the same time you are getting stone, it's not a bad idea to get a tanner. Those tier 2 buildings will be helpful. We should be placing a trading post, expanding out more plots to accommodate the extra people the increased happiness will bring. This is also where we start getting our two, tier 2 buildings. If you're playing a map with enemies present, you're going to want to start producing weapons. This is about the end of the start. From here you can decide to go personal army, mercs, however you want to play the game, however you want to develop your economy. Hopefully this little primer helps you speed through the early game and into the meat of it. Bye.